Hello, my friends. It's June 13th and time for this cartomancy message. Now, this message will not resonate with everyone. However, it is for all signs. Oh, I'm losing my ring here. Okay. So it is for all signs. And if it, and if you don't connect with it, that's okay. Sometimes we do further on down the road as we think of things. I appreciate you watching and thank you. Okay. So we're cutting the cards on your behalf. Let's see what's going on. Very interesting start. A very interesting start indeed. Let me fix my cloth a little bit so we don't have to worry about things. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck again. Here we go. Oh wow, okay. Well, this is getting interesting, my friends. Hang on tight because this is getting Wow, okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Clubs. Now, this ties in with this reading. I've, I've just got to tell you. I'm going to move my palette here just a little bit so you can see all of this. I've got to say that I think that you have felt that someone has been keeping things from you and has gone as far as you thinking that maybe they are doing this on purpose, like they are playing a game from you, they're hiding things, secrets. With these two jokers coming out, this one, you see, is not a colored one. It's not in color. This means a big secret. This means things that are being hidden. But this one right here means that this is something beyond being hidden, hidden, almost like a game on purpose, trying to keep something from you. This person that you're dealing with is certainly gambling with a situation. And I'm also going to tell you, you've been indecisive about this person because I think you feel like, oh, well, you know, may maybe you're, you're wanting to see the good in this person. You've been a little indecisive about this. This person could be younger than you. They don't have a lot of confidence. And, well, I've got to tell you, I think that this is, you know, I, I don't think they've been treating you very well. Let me put it that way. You've been told to curb your imagination that maybe you're just thinking of things, that, no, nah, maybe that you're just, you know, overanalyzing the situation. Nay, nay, you're not. This is confirmation that this person that you're thinking about and this, wow, I'm going to say you could be being cheated on. I have to just say it. And, and you know, I'm a positive reader, but when I've got a reading like this, I'm going to tell you, you need to know. You could be well, in the middle of a love triangle and not know it. This person is keeping you, f keeping something from you. But we have another person over here. Now, who is this? Well, this could be another person in the mix. This guy is kind of like a mama's boy. He's immature. He's not emotionally matured. This one right here? Oh, yeah. He knows what he's doing. He's emotionally mature. If this is you, I'm going to tell you this confirmation, you are, you're gambling if you stay with this person. I got to just tell you, you are. That's the way it is. Changes need to be made and no one can tell you what to do. You're going to have to make those changes. I don't like to bring you news like this, but you know, being a cartomancer and reading the playing cards, I'm not so sure I would see this as clearly in the tarot. Now, that's because I started reading the cartomancy first, and t tarot came later on down the road. But I've got to tell you, trust your gut instinct. You've been indecisive, like I said, you're not really wanting to accuse somebody of something, but definitely you need to look at this person's past. 
there's a nickname for this card. I'm going to tell you what it is. Are you ready? This is called the Devil's Bedpost. Now, not sure why that originated from Old England, but when this comes up, this definitely means, and especially beside these two cards, I mean, after all, this is telling you the hidden things. This is secrets. And then you get this. This is a card where it just means a huge lack of trust. And it also means you better be looking into that person's past. If you started dating someone and you're not sure, take another take another look at the situation. Or if you've been dating someone for a long time and they've kind of backed off and acting a little funny, take a look at the situation. This could be this one here. Maybe you're dating two people at a time. This person is okay. Not really right for you. But my main concern, I'm just going to put him out of the way right here. He's up here. My main concern is this fellow right here. Now, I don't usually get into astrological signs or elements or any of those types of things. Looks like he's an earth sign, maybe. Maybe. But whatever it is, you be careful. You just be careful. You don't have to gamble with that. You're fine. First of all, you're safe. You're fine. All of those things. But I just want you to be careful. Look into the situation. Don't be so indecisive. Don't be so forgiving. Don't be so willing to overlook things, right? We've all been there. Don't be so willing to overlook things in a situation and then it could backfire on you. Think about it. Get the facts. You're going to be okay and you're going to make the right decision. I know you're worried, but don't curb your imagination only a little. You follow your gut instinct. I trust you on that. Thank you so much for watching. Wow. What? Wow. That's all I got to say is just wow on this reading. If you'd like to have a reading with me personally, you may do that. And you can give us a call at PsychicSecrets.com. I'm at extension 11. Or you can find me on social media. I'm Psychic Zelda Kelly. This is really something. So I will... Leave me, leave me a message in the comments if you think this is for you. But just know you're okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.